Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 3. Today oh, we are continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 15 in today's episode. We are taking a look at the amateur rear-wheel drive elite open for that. We need a rear-wheel drive car in C-Class and the car we are going for today is going to be the 2003 Mercedes-Benz CLK 55 AMG Coupe because it costs 20 grand. What? what? It's cheap. Fuck. Yeah. So that's why we're buying it. <laughs> and also I don't need to do any upgrades to this car. Which is a good bonus. Anyways, this event is limited to cars with rear wheel drive, you don't fucking say. Anyway, Sakuba Short, Suzuka East, and Motegi East. Suzuka, uh, Sakuba is first. Sakuba Suka. I can lose my train of thought Suck. very easily, okay? Yeah, you can. Suck Uber. Sucky bus. Anyways. Cars are divided into classes. I couldn't tell. No shit! Nah. I like how most of these tips are stuff where it's like fucking. If you don't know this, you probably aren't holding the controller right now. You've probably put it in your mouth to see what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's all. That's a question that plagues everyone's mind. Yeah. Also, I like how you had an issue of too loud the other day, and now you have an issue of too quiet. <laughs> God fucking damn it! Also, I think this car has heated headlights. What? Well, heated headlights? Yeah, I, I just sort of saw the front lights have like little heat things on them. That's amazing. Oh god, I'm already being bullied for my heated headlight. I wonder why. I got bullied by a Pontiac GTO. I got pushed into an Infiniti G37. Also, all of the cars you see in front of you are also very good choices for this event. Because that Dodge cost 25 grand, this Chrysler cost 26 grand, and that Cadillac cost 21 grand. But the Mercedes is the car we went for because it cost twenty grand. Yeah, because it's the cheapest, and also I didn't want to drive anything American. Yeah, we've done too much of that recently. Also worth pointing out, this car is four grand cheaper than the A two hundred Turbo Coupe. Yes. Even though the A two hundred Turbo Coupe is obviously better, because it's the yeah, A two hundred Turbo awesome. Coupe. Yeah. I mean, judging by the price, it's at least 16% better. Or is it 20%? No, it's 16%, isn't it? It's 20% if it was cheaper, I think. I don't know. Anyways, the car's a bit bruised and battered now, but it's winning. So uh, it that's, the, that's the state of many mid 2000s Mercedes. Oh my god! You okay? Rear wheel drive does not end well for me in this game, apparently. Well, did, uh, did you learn nothing from the truck? Oh, yeah, right. My big Rammy boy. That was rear wheel drive, right? Yes. Okay, good. I literally used it in an event called rear wheel drive open. Oops. Yeah, Ooh. remember who you're talking to. Mind you, this is supposed to be the rear wheel drive elite, so. And the best of the best rear-wheel drive cars are a Cadillac CTS-V Coupe. I mean, no, CTS-V. I mean, come on. It just isn't, okay? Also worth pointing out, this is a CLK 55, and it has the same disease I hate with all Mercedes. Look at all the blank buttons. Oops. They irritate me. I hate blank buttons. Do what that car yeah, Doug reviewed recently did. Where? What did they do? Oh, I think he reviewed a Mercedes. It, actually, I think it was the new G Class, and they've made oh, a oh, fake yeah, button, yeah. but it actually has like a little. Yeah, light I, I, on I, it. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got which I understood which one you meant. Yeah, well, it, well, it's like a fake button, but it does the light as if it was a real button. Yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, at least it, do it doesn't look as out of place. Yeah, they tried at least. 
It's better than nothing. Yeah, as a mighty number nine executive winter. Oops. Oh god! <laughs> and across the line. Hey! In the slightest awesome, Mercedes ever made. I like how this specific Mercedes is just retardedly cheap. Your 2003 Mercedes Benz CLK 55 AMG Coupe has reputation level 1 intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by AMG are now cheaper. Hooray! Yay! Ew! Hooray! The amazing CLK is earning its keep already. Suzuka East is next. Oh god. Which is going to be pretty interesting in a car which is slidey. Uh, how, uh, everyone's gonna fucking die. Yeah. Well, at least it's not a Mustang. So I'm ping the wankers, see if there's any new blood hanging around that wants them. Mm-hmm. I will. I bet you will. Not saying you lot are boring or anything, but... Nah, let's be no, honest, we no, are fucking no, boring. That, I, think, I think that's fairly accurate representation of who everyone is. <laughs> Well, I'm slightly losing my energy, so I need people to, like, zing me up, Daddy. There we go. Thank you. What do you put? Oh. Come, lies for the three. G37. I love how Lotus is like, no. No. <laughs> Lotus needs to learn some fucking respect. Respect. No. Respect up on the streets. Respect is for nerds. Respect is for my... Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot to see. See. Oh, oh, oh fuck see. you, you beer. <clears throat> Joe Davis. John Davis is now upgraded from a Saab to a Cadillac. Was it John Davis who drove a Saab? I don't remember. Or did he have a Versa? I literally don't remember. All I know is he had a red car at some point. Also, I like it how... You know I stopped using red cars a while ago? Yeah? yeah. Other than the Peugeot, I don't think I've used the red car since. Good. Even though I used like three in the space of the first... like, Well, I used four in the space of the first four episodes. To be fair, one of those was not my fault. No. I have no choice what the fucking Audi in the intro looks like. So. Ain't that sad. <coughs> Sliding! Audi. Fucking goddammit. What? I need to stop being so fucking liberal with the accelerator on these rear-wheel drive cars. Yeah. With lots of power. It's weird because this game has so much more grip than Forza 7 everywhere else and it lures you into a false sense of security with these rear wheel drive cars. Because they will just turn around and deck you. Turn around! Every now and then I get a little bit more. Oh, wait, be quiet. I want to hear some more of this AMG V8. <coughs> sure, you do. It does sound pretty good. I'll give it that. Yeah. This one isn't the supercharged one, so it doesn't sound as good as the later ones. But it's pretty good. I think it. I think these had a 5.5 liter V8. It's like 347 horsepower. Let's see if I'm right. No. Imagine it's more only than getting that, that much power out of a 5-liter V8. Yeah, the Germans had American syndrome for a lot of the 90s and the early 2000s, where they just gave up making power. Ironically enough, it's an issue some of them still suffer with. I.e. just look at that new fucking 760 Li, which I think... Or, as you know, the last BMW 7 Series, I think, had like a twin-turbo 6-litre V12, and it produced like 500 horsepower or something like that. It's like, you're overcompensating quite a lot with that. I mean, come on. Make more power. And across the line in the Selk, which actually this time didn't get beaten up, so that's a bonus for us all. Yay! 
Level 2! Your 2003 Mercedes-Benz CLK AMG Coupe has reputation level 2. Differential upgrades by ZF are cheaper. This is, replies the Citroen, Mercedes-Benz, Opel, Peugeot, Renault and Seat. Again, I, I don't... Seat? Like, uh, why is it not for Volkswagens as well then? <laughs> also, Twin Room Motor the East is next. Ooh! <clears throat> Get get ready to why die. Did say, why did you say who was that? What did you see? <coughs> Who's playing the PS3? No PS3. Hey Emil, mm -hmm. you can Scania. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? It's very white. Yeah, I know. I'm tempted to be it instead of my freaking one. Oh god, I, actually, I think I actually can because I don't have any fucking space left in my garages. It's yes. time for Twing Ring Motegi East. Oh god. Mustang! Manstag! Has that Mustang always been there or am I just noticing it for the first time? No. Also, there's an RX-8 in this race. Beautiful god of the apex seal. How mighty is the... I crown thee king of the ring. <laughs> and the memes. Did anyone watch that series? Apparently. Uh, Did I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Not. I only watched the one I, I only watched the one where like you absolutely fucked the referee. Oh yeah? That one where I was playing as fucking Acom and just like tried to attack Mueller and instead jumped on the ref and just started hounding him. <laughs> Probably. That yeah, that was a lot. That was a great one. Um, <clears throat> that was a weird voice crack. Uh, it wasn't as good I've as gotten... the one where I was playing as Finn Balor Demon, who's rated 92, and Mueller was playing as someone who's like 60 rated. And I basically, the entire way around, I was just going, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, da -na, and literally, the match was one move. <laughs> it was one move I put on Mueller, I rolled him up, he then proceeded to reverse roll me up. Which caught me off guard because I didn't realise that was a thing you could do and lost. Way to go. Also, John Cena lost against Sawyer Fulton in the first round. So. Who? Exactly. He's someone that when we recorded that wasn't even with the company because he got injured and then they gave up on him. <laughs> I've melt. I have. I've melt. I've made an engine that revs to. 11k. That's impressive, nice. all, but this engine revs to 6. Because it's a V8 and. V8 uh, yeah, is funny. Uh, it yeah, is. funny enough, the engine I've made is a V8. It's, it is a V8. The Ferrari 458 can rev to like 9. Granted, mine is twin turbo. Twin turbo? No, turbos make With... it harder to rev. <laughs> um don't need as much. Yeah, you say that. My engine is revving to eleven thousand RPM. Yeah, I know, I understood what you said. Yeah. Automation isn't completely accurate, I'm afraid. I know. As much as Boost might like to tell you like you can go work for Nissan and build a new GTR engine. I mean, he, I mean, he actually can, I would it's say. It's new TTR engine. Boost is actually <laughs> boring enough to work on that, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Boost is actually good at made, making things like this bit of a Nissan is. I mean, he's good at, like, actual the technicalities of automation. It's just a shame he can't style cars for shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's good at... Well, as you make the, absolute beauty, it's just you can't... Yeah, exactly. Have you not seen the Saint yeah. Salmonella crossover? Yeah, th that's the thing. And then there's me. I'm like, I'm like in the middle. I no, you know, you built the same car over and over and over and over that, again. That's what I mean. I'm like, I can build an engine. It's just it has the to be car. a V8 that's ridiculously too big. Yeah. In one specific era. A and me, I cannot do any of those. Yeah. My car, my car. Oh, that's because you're an idiot. Hello. No. No, I, I will say, I will say. This is a <gasps> 2.4 liter V8. Driver level I mean 8. That. 
Maserati wow. would like to recognize your excellent performance. They've sent you a 2008 Maserati Gran Turismo. Which I don't mean to disappear so much, I've just been working on stuff. Oh, no, we're no, right. that's, that's okay. It's okay. And, and Emil, that Maserati already lost two thirds of its value already. Yes, 65,000, and it was free. 65,000 yeah. credits, and there's the big boy Maserati, which is a ridiculously big car, but it's got wooden steering wheel. Yeah. Anyways. I mean, that's. that. At, le at least it has, it has to have something. That's it for this episode. Join us next time when we look at the mid engine dolly open. Um, oh boy. Until then. Oh. Farewell. E. No, not E. <laughs> Farewell. No. T. Farewell. <laughs>